Hey everybody, this is Jason Sobel, artist on way too many Marvel card sets to announce, and you are listening to the Marvel Card Collectors Podcast. Be awesome. Hello everybody, my name is Ian Taylor and welcome to the Marvel Card Collectors Podcast, brought to you by the Marvel Cards Fan Collective, an awesome community of card collectors and creators. You can find our two groups on Facebook, details of which are at the end of this podcast, so come check us out. With me is my co-pilot in all things Marvel Cards. No, 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 he's not. He's not here this week, folks, so it's just me, at least for the start of this podcast. Um, uh, We believe... And I say we, because there is someone else on this podcast. It's not just going to be me for the next however long. Um, we believe that, that Norrin might still be asleep. We believe he might be. Who knows? I don't know. Um, anyway, um, so this week uh, we do have a guest, and it's um, I'm, I'm absolutely tickled pink to welcome this gentleman onto the podcast because he's very active in our, in our groups, um, and he's got some cracking um, cards um in his stash um and he's also a character collector of note so um for another of our the sort of collector spotlight episodes welcome jason markinay hello welcome thanks for having sir. me no you're more than welcome I'm, I'm absolutely tickled pink to have you have you with us um so um you because i can't even remember when you joined the group i kind of always remember you being there if that makes oh sense. well, that's that's my you know power is I just I plant a seed in your mind that I'm have always been there. Um, no, yeah, I joined uh, probably end of 2018. Yeah. At least the Marvel Masterpiece Group um, right. was sort of active uh, with that 2018 set. Um, yeah, and then kind of got out of it for a while, and then probably got more active probably the end of 2019, early 2020, uh, when I was getting into the Fleer Ultra Spider Man and that kind of stuff, and was probably posted a lot more, became more active then. So, yeah, like everyone else, became more active with Fleer Ultra Spider Man around the same kind of time. Yes, it's a great, it's a great set, and it uh, is a superb set. It's a yeah. money suck, but it's good. <laughs> Yeah, just a little bit. I mean, it's what fourteen dollars a pack. Yes, five cards, um, and it is. I mean, it, it is a superb set. So you know, you do get your money's worth. And actually, the base card, even the base cards, on that um, have that extra value on EPAC. Mm-hmm. Of course. Oh yeah. There's folk chasing the rainbows and things. Oh yeah, yeah. They're. Um... Well, I'm a big Spider-Man fan, but uh, yeah, that set, I didn't realize that they were like, you know, thick um, until somebody told me that they were like 100 point or 96 point thickness. And um, I like that. That's something that wasn't around when I was collecting in the 90s. And and then when I saw the Marvel Masterpieces, um, 2018 were that thickness, that kind of spoiled me. So now I like my cards to... (laughs) have a little bit of body to them yeah you like to be able to put them under a table leg to sort of wobbly table uh, uh, in a restaurant yes. that kind of thing yeah 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 i mean the fleer ultra i've got a fleer ultra x-men here that's a okay. that's the same as the um fleer ultra spider-man they're absolutely stunning cards um so you, you kind of touched on the 90s then i imagine your kind of origin story in terms of cards would be very similar to a lot of people's in that you were kind of into it you know in the boom time as it were you know the 90s the golden age was your was that was that when you were kind of getting into the sets first when you're coming up yes um i always had an interest in comics um but never really read a lot of them and i think i saw an ad i don't or or on tv maybe i'm not sure but for like the 1991 marvel universe set uh-huh. Um, I, it seems like there was I don't know if it was a TV ad or something I said oh wow Marvel cards because I think occasionally I get some baseball cards and had some you know Batman Michael Keaton movie cards and you know stuff you know cards from movies and stuff like that but anyway we got a couple packs of those uh, my grandfather bought us some packs at Walmart of the Marvel 91 set and went back to my grandparents' house. My grandma saw them and did not like the way some of them looked. And so threw those cards away. Not all of them, 
but like the Calypso card, you know, stuff that was a little suggestive for a, oh, wow. you know, nine year old, maybe. I don't know. Okay. But <laughs> I still have the, the the surviving cards I still have. But um, some of them went went uh, went to the landfill. So, <laughs> oh, my goodness me. So whereabouts are you from? Where, where did you grow up? Um, I grew up in Pensacola, Florida, which okay. is if you're familiar with Florida, it's the far end of the panhandle, but I moved to Tallahassee, Florida, the state capital in 1998. So I've been here for 22 years now. So, but Florida, been in Florida, my whole, lived in Florida my whole life. Yeah. Wow. We seem to have an awful lot of collectors in the group from Florida, either people who live there now or people who are from there. Yeah. I noticed that. Yeah. Which is yeah. why we had that whole episode where, Almost everyone on it seemed to have been in Florida or lived in Florida at one point, or were born there and had moved somewhere else. So, yeah. Um, so, so you're still there, which is which is good. Um, so, when you, so obviously you were you were pretty young at that point. Did you? Yes. Did you, as you as you kind of went from Marvel Universe ninety one through into your early teen years, did you carry on collecting any any sets, any any in particular that stick out for you? So it seemed like after that Marvel, that first incident, instance, uh, there was maybe a year gap, two year gap. And then some friends of ours had a bunch of the 92 cards and then some of the 93 Marvel cards. And we did some trades and got some of those. And then my parents, every weekend almost, there was a card shop near the house. So we went to a card shop and bought one or two packs of cards um, and then Walmart used to sell cards, books a million, um, used to sell packs of cards. So we'd get them here and here and there. Uh, so, but the one I remember collecting really a full set of for, I forgot how long it took me was the 94, um, Spider-Man set. Um, oh, it's, yeah. it's not a Fleer Ultra set. It's was Fleer Spider-Man, um, it was, hang on a sec, because I've got it here, although it didn't have its own binder, so I've got it in the Fleer Ultra Spider-Man binder. It was, what was it called? It was called The Amazing Spider-Man, mm-hmm. first edition. And I'll hold you up a wrapper, and I'm sure you recognize that. Oh, yes. That's it. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. That's the Mark Bagley artwork, yeah? Yes. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, that's, I, I recognize, I'm a big Mark Bagley fan, and, uh, cause that's kind of the era of Spider Man I read and collected. So, um, and I've met, met him a few times. Um, but anyway, it's, yeah, that's a great set. I liked the way every, almost every part of that set was like a puzzle card. You know, you had his, I think, tech or powers was like, you know, made a picture and then there was a venom section like nine cards and then some of the different villains and uh yeah it was pretty cool um pretty cool set uh so yeah i did that my brother was doing the 94 flitter ultra x-men set so we still have um still have those as well so i've I've got all those cards uh in binders probably the original binders we had in 1994 but (laughs) (laughs) wonderful um before we go any further guess who's guess who's guess who's about to join us oh let's have a little guess shall we let's see let's see if we can let's see if we can add him in let's see if we can add him in a late appearance fashionably late let's see what happens let's see what happens where we have Surfer boy, on the oh no, it says he's unavailable. Oh no! <laughs> I'll try him again in a moment. He's just messaged me. Said I'm getting on now. Is there still time? <laughs> Is Jason okay with waiting? He's like, well, uh, I wasn't. So let's, let's carry on. Um, we'll try him again in a moment. So all right. <clears throat> I don't mind carrying his weight for him. That's fine. No, no, uh, he's, 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 oh, he's a big fella. Be careful what you wish for. Um, he's six foot four. Oh, um, wow. He's, he's yeah. absolutely massive, massive, massive. Uh, Somehow. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm five three, so that may be a problem. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm kind of in between the two of you. Um, so... <laughs> Why are we talking about how I tall we are on the podcast? We'll, we'll move on. We'll move on. So, 94, Fleer Ultra X-Men. Did, did your brother have any of those silver crossover cards that are so sought after from that set? Do you know the ones I mean? I'm not sure. 
because yeah. everyone everyone seems to be they seem to be they, they're one of those uh, those things from 90s sets that every time i see someone talking about them the value seems to have gone up a peg hmm it's quite bizarre. Uh, uh, I'd, I'd have to refresh my memory what they looked like. Was that like a, a rare chase card? Yeah. Yeah, I think there were okay. six of them. Um, I have a feeling that one of them was Bob Larkin artwork. I'm not sure about the others. I, I, I don't own them, so I'm not massively familiar with them beyond uh, what I've seen recently. I just no- noticed that recently a lot more people seem to be seem to be kind of wagging their tails over them. Um, mm. But uh, but no, that's that. That's curious. So you got your you got your ninety four Amazing Spider Man. Where next? Let's see. We did buy quite a few of the Marvel Masterpiece ninety four, the um, Hildebrand Brothers set, which I uh, don't have a full set of those. I've got a few of the gold signature, some of the hollow foil, you know, cards. I think I've got a Scarlet Witch, a Carnage, and a um, Hulk. Um, you know the foil whatever thingies yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh yeah some of those and then yeah, and then just some odds and ends i think we really didn't didn't do a whole lot of um i mean those spider-man and x-men were kind of the sets we worked on and then we kind of just got odds and ends you know a few few packs here and there of um of different stuff um but yeah th- those were the big sets and then probably by 95 96 we kind of got out of it um, we were buying some bat basketball cards, um, but yeah, uh, we kind of got out of the cards, got more into comics, and then I didn't really get back into comics till 2002, and then cards probably late 2018, 19. So, wow, okay, that's a so, long old gap. Yeah, that's a long old gap. And hang on a moment, hang on a moment. There he is. Yes, there he is. Hello, hello, hello. At this point, you're going to have to edit in some crowd noise and whooping. I'm going to, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I always want to edit crowd noise on top of my entrance. Right. And for me, late. Like, this is <laughs> kind of perfect. So it's where I want to be. How you doing, Jason? Good, man. Good. Glad you could make it. I was... Uh... I, th- I thought I was just going to have Ian with me. The R- I know, uh, I know. I'm he, sorry. He was looking worried. He was looking worried. He was like, God, point. just yeah. going to talk to this guy the whole time? Like, Jeez. Like, well, don't oh worry, Jason. Goodness. I'm here. So Okay. <laughs> Good. So I'm just I'm just grilling Jason on his on his on his on his card history and uh, on his card choices, like why he's collecting on, what he's collecting. Well, we haven't talked about that yet, actually. Ooh. So we're uh, going in the origin story right so now. So we, yeah, we kind of we kind of t- we kind of did the origin story. But I, I'm your character. I love your character of choice, and I know I know you don't. I don't think you limit yourself just to that character, but you no. you you've gone pretty. Um, health Heart, after yeah, that character, yeah. I, I would say. Um, so who is it? Tell us who okay. it is. Okay, <clears throat> it's uh, Spider-Man 2099, also known as yeah. Miguel O'Hara. Uh, he's a great, I mean, Peter. Peter's obviously my favorite, but he's, he's a great character. And the reason I decided to collect him was I thought it would keep me away from just buying stuff and putting sets together because I don't have space for all these cards. And But I still buy... All kinds of stuff. But I picked Spider-Man 2099 because I figured there probably is a decently healthy amount of cards of him, but not so much. And he'd be a little bit easier to get, a little more attainable than, say, Peter Parker Spider-Man. But he has, um, I don't know, he's been a little bit of a, a challenge at times to try to track down how many actual cards of him there are and... You know, and then it, when you get to some like Flirtish Spider Man, some of the rarer chase cards, insert cards, people don't want to give those up. Um, <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, man. Those are tough, man. Those are really tough. And there's some such good art for that 2099, too. That's our friend, um, uh, C C A I O, Cow. Right? Oh, uh, yeah. Cow. It's yeah. uh, actually um, it's Eric Wilkerson did the um, Eric Wilkerson did the Spider Man. Damn, Eric that's right. Wilkerson that's right. Is 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 superb. I love yeah, that's right. Stuff. That's right. And he's introed us as well. So I'm just I'm going to give Eric a shout out because Eric, 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 Eric. I don't I'm think um, gets gets quite enough um, love. Um, yeah. Because his 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 stuff is just phenomenal. Uh, um, I, I just grabbed a random. That's the silver. There with that. Is. Yeah, that's that's Eric. Yeah, the base for card, sure. Yeah, yeah wow. Base here. Where is it? Where is he? What number is he? 
You know, I should know that. Um, <laughs> 84. 84. Right. Good. I'm glad you said, because I was, I was mucking about in the twenties. Uh, let you me know, find he it. He has a lot of them that are my favorites too. Like a lot of his pieces really are some of my favorite cards from the set. His artwork yeah. is an absolute knockout. I remember he's, he's, we're very fortunate in that he has, um, offered some of the prelims and, uh, sketch versions of it in the past yeah. to members of the group. Um, and here it is. Yeah. Oh, it's, it just absolutely pops. I mean, mm-hmm. the, the colours on it are just superb. I mean, I know that was the foil we held up there. My camera's not brilliant, but just yeah. the colours on that are just so vibrant. I love they the really spaceships. Are. I love the angle. I love the whole, like, dynamic kind of pose of it. It's really yeah. fun. It, really it's cool good, and really it, fun. It's a good action shot. It's, uh, you know, it definitely shows hit kind of how they presented his universe and world, you know, back in 92, yeah. whenever he yes. debuted. Um, right. and so it's, it's definitely got that, <clears throat> that it, vibe to it. It reminds yes. me of Blade Runner. It's yes. got that Blade Runner thing yes. going on, uh, which is, uh, which that is that dystopian credit, technology future yeah. type of thing. Yeah. yeah. Really cool. Um, yeah. now he does great uh, stuff. Yeah. I really like his work too. I'm, you know, I've been, it's funny. A lot of people, there's a resurgence on that set and a lot of people are discovering those artists again and hitting them up and so forth. Yeah. So how many artists were on the set? I'm is looking it, through it, it's, uh, it's probably, it's difficult to tell just from the cards, but I would say right. there's probably a, a core of 10 to 12. You've got K.O. Cacao, uh, you've got Eric Wilkerson, Mark Texera, uh, Ray Largo. Ray Largo? Yeah. I love Ray. Ray Largo. Um, hello, Ray. Um, there's a few that I don't, I don't, I just don't know that well. Uh, Hilda Mark Brandt Evans. did the three. Mm-hmm, he did, right. yeah. I'm just looking at the at the base at the moment. Those are great. Three and the legacy. Too. Yeah, the legacy yeah. subset he did. Legacy subset. Um, yes. You had Jason Chalker uh, did a mm. few of the cards. Um, James uh, uh, ben- Bernardian, I think his name is. So I'm having to read some quite small text uh-huh. here. We need we need to seriously track some of it. Mike Thompson. We need to track some of these guys down actually because they are yeah we they are phenomenal artists. Um, no, I agree. And uh, yeah, I I just love to know more about them because I I don't often see, you know, apart from really flair, and obviously masterpieces is all one artist. We don't really have a set that has, you know, that crossover of base and chase card artists, um, you know, outside of, of things like Flair and Flair Ultra Spider Man. It may well be that some of these guys were on Flair Ultra X Men. Yeah, Mark Evans was on Flair Ultra X Men, mm-hmm. as was Ko. Um, there's a there's another artist, uh, Ray Largo was on uh, Fleer Ultra X Men as well. Jason Duter. Uh, there's a there is an artist whose name always makes me laugh slightly, and it probably shouldn't. And I, I'm sorry for insulting you, sir. An artist by the name of German Ponce. Um, hmm. <laughs> German Ponce is a brilliant name. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> it just makes me chuckle. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, J P Target. Uh, oh yeah, John, yeah. John Stanko, I love John Stanko's work. John Stanko, his his pencils are insane. He did oh, that. Yeah, on the yeah I tried hitting him up. He hasn't gotten back to me yet. But that that Phoenix man, that, that's have you seen nice his card. pencils? Yeah, he did the Spider Woman from Fla- the the Flare set, the one where she's on the street lamp. I think I think that's the one she he did as well for her because wow. I think I saw a pencil okay. by him. Okay. Great piece. I think maybe that's somebody else. I'll remember. So, but yeah, great pieces. So you've got so you've got Eric's um uh, Spider-Man 2099. So how mm-hmm. have you how have you gotten on with that Flea Ultra Spider-Man Rainbow? How, how are you how are you doing on that? So mm. I've got um let, let me see um let me see if I can I've got it here but I'll see if I can use my the old memory banks here. I've got <laughs> I have the base, the silver base, the rainbow of the base, the silver foil, or yeah, or well, the the web, the web foil, the silver web foil, uh, the gold web foil autograph. Ooh. I've got the uh, Marvel medal, the PMG bronze, red, blue, green, the Ooh. hollow fast, the hollow blast. And two sketches. Yes, and I think that's yeah. yeah. You have a plate as well. And I have two plates. I have the oh. base plate and the metal plate. Yeah. 
Nice. So you got one plate of each. Perfect. One That's plate exactly. of each. Yeah. And um, um, smart. Yeah, one plate. Well, you you uh you, you helped me out with that uh that right, right. base plate. It's a great uh great great plate. It's a magenta um plate. That's so right. it looks looks really good. Um yeah, so really all I'm missing is a uh, PMG purple and gold. Mm. And then eventually when I get motivated, I'll work on trying to get the rainbow web foil. Well. Yeah, yeah right that's over. a that's a hell of a thing to pull yeah. off. You know, it takes a while, especially for Spider Man. That's going to be harder than anything. I mean, Ian had it harder than me with Black Cat for sure. Oh yeah. Um yeah. I'm I'm kind of at the point now where I don't actually think it's going to happen um, because there's someone else who's got far greater pockets than I have. Who's mm. who's chasing a rainbow web foil set. Who, who we know. Um, so, um, and, yeah, really? Uh, Who's going for that? I mean, you can't tell me, but tell me later, because that's mm, interesting. Mm, it's, going- some, it's someone we've, but we, yeah, a nice guy, really nice guy. He's in the group, but uh, but I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't want to um, out. No, him don't out him. Yeah, 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 knowledge. yeah. Um, but um, um, so, wow. uh, yeah, I would almost go as far to say is he could potentially be the Mister Fussum. <laughs> to the, the Mister uh, Fuxum, and for those who don't know what I mean, there there is a a collector who went in deep, and I when I say deep, I'm talking deep. thousands of thousands <laughs> of dollars deep on like the spelunking X-Men. in the caves. <laughs> yeah, deep. who probably owns over a third, if not more, of the product that was sold on pack before Fleer wow. sold out. Um, and he's known as Mr. Foxham. Wow. So he's a really nice guy, actually. I've, Very I've, nice. I've done a couple of trades with him and had some chats with him. Um, wow. But, um, but yeah, he's... Um, you know he's a he's a busy guy, so um, we haven't as yet managed to talk to him for the for the show. But uh, but the invitation is out there. Um, so yeah, um, but people are going crazy for those those uh, the Fleer Ultra Spider Man at the moment. There's another guy on Epac who is probably about ten characters away from a full rainbow foil set. Wow! Base one to one hundred. Oh, I know who that is. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, so he's um, good for them. He's um, so he's doing all right. So no, I'm a. I'll probably at this point. Um, I will possibly listen. I've got everything. You know, I've got the original artwork. I've got two plates of the base for cat. I've got two plates of the metal. Um, oh wow! I didn't know oh, that. Wow, good that's job. good. Yeah, I've got I've got up to purple. I'm missing the green. Um, but yeah, I'm just missing the green from from that one, and uh, yeah, you have the gold. I've got, uh, yeah, I've got the gold auto. Oh wow! Um, got that a while back actually. Um, I've got the rainbow uh, foil. Um, so yeah, I might I might have to park the quest for the rainbow web foil and just walk away from the table, happy with my lot. Yeah, man. I mean, honestly, those EPAC achievements. I don't. It's weird, right? Like. You, I mean, that might be considered when you put it with the set a master rainbow, not just like a rainbow if you want to put a label on it. You know what I mean? Because like those things can be so impossible to get for so many variables, even though you can see as many as there might be out there. But honestly, I think I think they will. So this is a good question I want to ask you guys. Like, how many do you think are out there? How many do you think it's possible to redeem the gold, um, the rainbow web foil? I'd be surprised if they made physically more than ten. Same. I'd be yeah. surprised if it's. I I'd be surprised because that because they yeah. will have done. You know, as um, I know, it doesn't work there anymore. And we will be talking to other people from Upper Deck, so maybe they will. Maybe they won't shine a light on this because obviously some of it is, mm. is stuff they they don't want out out there necessarily. But right. I would imagine they've done all the all the mass on this. They'll have some very very clever. Um, Mm -hmm. systems and algorithms to work out okay these physical cards are going to disappear when you redeem for that which means the product can be sold for X amount longer as a viable thing you know so um, that will all be sitting behind the back end and you know I I would dread to think how the masses for those kind of things you know can you imagine looking at that kind of um, (laughs) formula they've got for that yeah but that that said I, I think it I think the rainbow foils they probably made more of 
I mean, the rainbow yeah, balls, think, yeah. they may be, may, you know, it, it's, yeah. Yeah, if you're if you're out there and you're printing this, uh, we're doing clown maths now, as as as, as Matt. Knows, so <laughs> I think indeed. maybe you're looking at, I don't know, fifty tops. I, if that rainbow base, no, yeah. I think it's probably going to be like twenty or less, and then yeah. for the web, I think it'd be ten or less. But what have they done is number them. They should have numbered them. That was a mistake. I understand why because at one point they. I mean, I could imagine one or two things are happening, right? They're waiting to find out how long the set stays in existence because it's still up there way Mm -hmm. past Mm -hmm. um, Ultra X-Men. So they're probably couldn't put a number on it because of the redeem the redemption process. So for people don't know when you find these cards and you redeem them, the cards are sent back into the system. They're not they're 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 not retired. Yeah. Their yeah. physical cards are sent yeah. back into the system. Yeah. So, and that probably changes the math. So, like, let's say someone claims a base rainbow um, of a character. All of a sudden, the amount of ones that are sent back into the system is probably a little bit less to account for how many base rainbows they have left and how the time in which the product will run out naturally. Mm-hmm. So, I'm assuming that math and that algorithm goes back and forth every time one is redeemed. But the scary thing is, is that people have some of these cards just sitting there you know what i mean like unredeemed you know like if you want to be really a horrible person which is fair you could take a hundred of them and just (laughs) redeem a hundred of them and not redeem the rainbow and then the chance of that rainbow would go less i guess so you've also got to remember that we're we're on the second wave of this product because it would have hit big back in 2017 Mm-hmm. Yeah, so like, when is this thing going to run out, man? I want to see it know. over. <laughs> but that's the thing. It kind of, you know, you kind of got to imagine to a certain degree it does self-propagate. It kind of yeah. recycles itself. So you, you're limited then only by the number of limited inserts you've got and the numbered ones. So that might be why certain things aren't numbered because it allows the, the product to kind of, you know, have an extra life. Uh, right. Whereas if it's numbered, you run out pretty quickly. Um, I agree. Is you know, I'm not saying that they do, and you know, again, we might, we may well find out in one of our conversations with them over the coming months. Because oh, that would be so much Upper fun. Deck are returning to the podcast, folks, after oh, nice. the joyous reception that that, that um, Jason got. Not you, although you always get a joyous reception. <laughs> yes, um, you do, Jason. But, but uh, Jason Upper Deck, uh, president, um, okay, got from the listeners. Um, but uh, you know, maybe we'll ask them. Maybe they'll tell us. But I, it, I think the the limited stuff sells out. But who knows? Yeah. You know, for all we know, they they might go back to press on some of this stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying they do, but they might do. Wow. Yeah. I, I think though, as far as your uh, question about the base rainbows, um, I think that there's. I would think that there's got to be closer to fifty. Just doing searches on EPAC and seeing how many people have the base rainbows i mean it may be 30 i don't know but it seems like you think there's that many out there for each i don't know it just seems like i i just i just just see i don't know about every particular character but it seems like people can some of them are harder to get because people don't want to trade them or that but then some are a little bit easier like it took me less than 24 hours to do a rainbow of stunner you know uh but there's a good one to do as well and uh yeah and and spider queen was a pretty easy one to do too and that one um that's a good looking one too but i don't know it just seems like there there may be more maybe maybe 30 to 50 i don't know it just seems like the people have a lot of them and yeah, it's possible no it's, it is possible because i'm sure i'm sure you're right i'm sure a lot of people have actually i mean that's a cool set to go for right like if you were going for a pretty yeah. hard set and you want an e-pack exclusive set i could see someone doing a rainbow set yeah that brings Absolutely. up a good question too. Like more obscure characters, how many people rainbow that as opposed to like the Spider Man or you know any of the other big um, head honchos? Well, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I that's did. right. By virtue of the fact that I got a plate in a trade um, um, and just decided to go after that character, and yeah, I did it pretty quickly. Um, just yeah. on a rainbow, you know. So I've got a plate, I've got the base, I've got the the silver got the rainbow uh i think i've got the auto yeah i have got the auto so yeah i mean it's all sat in a warehouse in 
in Washington <laughs> State somewhere. <laughs> you know, none of it's none of it's actually here, um, and uh, it won't be for quite some time. I mean, a lot of my stuff's there at the moment because um, because they're, they're a bit backed up, and uh, I even if they weren't, I don't have the money to get it shipped over. But but no, it's it's interesting when people go after those those lesser characters. So did you did you go after them because you just kind of got one of the kind of higher end cards and thought well I may as well flesh out the rest of the skeleton or did you go after them because you thought I quite fancy the art or quite fancy the character uh, yeah it, I had I had at the time uh, uh, quite a few um, base cards and, and stuff in my account at uh, e- on EPAC and so I'm like well I just and I was getting a little kind of bummed because I think I was really just needing like the purple you know, just some of the higher ends of the 2099 or a silver, I mean, a rainbow web foil. Mm. And I'm like, eh, well, I'll just work on, I'll just do some rainbows of random characters. Um, just, you know, just because. So I did, um, probably in a week's time, I did the Rhino, Spider Queen, and Stunner. Um, I'll, because I had and it took me about a week for Rhino. Um, I like the art on that card. Uh, the Rhino. It is a good one. It's, I like that one a lot. One. Uh, Spider Queen. I I like the art. Okay, it's just one of those ones that I figure would be a good one. Rainbow foil and Stunner. Um, I like the card, and I was kind of curious how it would look rainbowed. Um, and I figured it'd be pretty easy to to do. So yeah. Um, I uh, I did those, um, but I never went back and um and early on actually I thought I was going to do a rainbow of shriek a rainbow set of shriek, mm, um, and I actually did um do a rainbow foil, but I sold it on COMC. Um, mm. So she's a cool character too, man. I like I like is, her. I like her. She yeah. is a cool character, and the art's pretty good on that card. Um, with the creepy gate behind her yeah, in the, the cemetery gate. or whatever. Yeah, it's kind of subdued that. because she's a psychotic character. You know, I think yeah. she was – She, I, I think at the time I read up on it. I remember reading um, that stuff in the 90s, but she was almost a um, – she was, I think, almost like a – supposed to be like the harley quinn to carnage's joker in a yeah. sense yeah. Oh. That's right. um they, yeah. they were kind of they were kind of going for that uh that vibe a little bit with with those characters um yeah well they also have um the female carnage what's her what's what's the name um scream scream That's is it right. scream whatever yeah. so they have her yeah. too yeah so they do have those kind of counterparts yeah, yeah. So I, remember, I remember is it shriek or shrike Shriek. shriek. I always shriek. Said shriek. I, shriek. Yeah. Like shrieking. Um, I think it's shriek. Um, I remember her being in uh, Spectacular Spider Man around the low 200s. In fact, I think 225 might have a kind of a foil effect, as most yes. 90s comics seem to. Yeah. Of a, sil- of a disc in the middle. And she, I think she was on that as well. Um, uh, of, yes, of, I, I believe you're right. I think there was a couple of variations of that mm, cover. And I want to say right. that had some like um, cards in the comic too, maybe like, you know, some, I think I've got an example here, but you know how, uh, some of the, in the nineties, they would like preview the yeah. cards and have kind of like three that were like together. Yeah. So I've got man. Yeah. yeah. So I've got actually an example. I, I got some comics off eBay. Ah, uh, got milk. Yeah. The guy, I've never seen those. Ha, ha. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Good. They are quite That's fun. Cool. Which issue is that at the way, by the way, uh, this is Spider Girl number eighteen. Good, because I've got a list. I've got a master list, and this is actually for a future episode. <laughs> so mm. uh, I don't want to bury the too much. Actually, and then um, yes. Amazing, Amazing Spider Man number seven. That's right. Of the of the re yeah, because number eight had them in as well. I, I believe. Okay. Uh, yeah. Or number nine. I can't remember because the, the Caps in America one. Um, Sorry, we've gone off on a tangent here, but I've got yeah. the Captain America one here for <laughs> uh, for my boy Pankit. Um, Thank you. Find it here. It is. So this one has been caref- very carefully removed. Okay. Oh, very cool. Because there was actually a Got Milk set. It wasn't okay, very well, big. Now, how do you find those Got Milk cards? I mean, were they loose cards? 
Like, no, the really go- like- uh, well, do you mean the ones that they're promoting? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure, but they're on. Um, I've seen them on eBay, and okay. they're listed on um, Jeff Allen's House of Checklists. Okay. Um, so I'm mm-hmm. not sure where they were released. I'm, I'm pretty sure that they weren't in comics, so they could have been something that was an in-store thing, or okay. don't know. Um, maybe if you got 12, 12 pints of milk, you got a card or something. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only the only reason I I found that I, I had never heard of them, and the only reason I have those comics is because I bought a pack to get that comic, the Marvel Superhero Island. Yes, nice. And, and it the kit that comes with it? It's, it came with a pack of sealed cards, which are, are really nice uh, cards. Yeah. Um, oh. So. Oh, is that that's the one you posted recently yes. on the group? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. And somebody actually had you know some because I wasn't sure, but I think there was only five cards. You get you know five, four or five, and you get them. They're all in that pack, but they're they're pretty cool cards. It's like close, you know, good close up shots of um, the characters, and on the back, it's kind of got an or you know their bio and their power. That's right. Rankings. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. They, Who are the five characters. <laughs> Uh, Captain America. Not Surfer. The, not Surfer, yeah. <laughs> I'm holding out for hope, okay, yeah. Ian? God. Uh, Captain America, The Hulk, Doctor Doom, The Thing, and Spider Man. That's a nice little, nice little run of characters. Well, because, like, I live. I remember going to Islands of Adventure when it first opened up okay. in Orlando. Yeah, and I remember it because they had like Silver Surfer, they had the Spider Man Y, they got the Hulk roller coaster type of thing. And I remember picking up that magazine there and it had the pin on it too. Yeah. The little gold, like little pow, pow kind of like yeah. spiky pin thing. Yeah. I loved I all that stuff as a yeah. kid, man. I remember there was one back of a comic book. I still, yeah, that's it. I have that. Yeah. There's, I remember seeing the back of a comic book when I was a kid and it was an advertisement for Munchies. Um, okay. And, you know, and on the back they had uh, Wolverine and Hulk in these black border cards. Have you seen these, Ian? Do you know about yes. these? Oh, do you mean Crunch and Munch? Crunch and Munch. Maybe that's yeah, what I've it was called. Yeah. I've got the set here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I think I've got two one or sets. two of those. Yeah. Yeah, I sets. love the look of those cards on the back of the cup. When I saw that advert, I was like, that's really cool, man. I, I remember much. looking for that. The thing is, so, there's so many mini okay. sets. There are mini sets. sets everywhere. So that pin with a... Uh, oh. When it sits there for 20-something years, if there's, yeah. you know, there's something else there, but it just presses in there, and you can feel it all the way in the back of the book. But Ah, uh, because they probably stacked them on top of each other, so the weight pushed down. That's a shame. Here we go. So yeah. we got, this is a wonderful tangent here, but crunch and munch. Brace yep. yourself. So I've got set munch. one and set two here. So this is set one. Yes. Okay. 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 And you see on the back, you've got the... Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It was cage. Okay. So you've seen the first row. This is the second row. You've got Spider-Man one. That's cool. Uh, Then you've got one that has all five characters on the back. Um, That's cool. Superheroes. Nice. That's the back of that one. Cool. The reason I like I'm, cards. Yeah. yeah the reason I'm cool. not showing you the last ones yet is because Wolverine at the bottom, there's mm-hmm. uh, two variants. Really? Okay. Which is why, so on the back, you'll see one's got white text. Mm-hmm. Ah. It's got red text. Interesting. Yeah, Damn, yeah. Will be, so for those listening, these will be on the tasting notes. But the Crunch and Munch set one is six cards. But the Wolverine has a variant. Wow. There you go. Um, and I would like to thank Jacob Hines uh, for that. And the set two Crunch and Munch, which aren't as nice. Uh, they're nice. I think I got and they got had Gambit, though, and yeah. Cable. That's cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. Nice. And then the back. They're not quite as nice as set one, but they're still. I, I still have um, my Cyclops card. No way. Nice. Yeah, I've got my Cyclops. Yeah. That's cool. And they're, they're brilliant. I, mean, I love these. You know, I, I like love these little. I like them a lot. Sets. But I love yeah. the whole like comic book advertisement uh, cards that came in there and the limited set. We've talked about yeah. it before too. But I just remember seeing those things. It just was so cool, man. And like I don't know, it's really awesome. Yeah, we've touched on those. them, and we will return to them um, yes. as well because there's so many different um, ones that you can talk about. Um, mm-hmm. So, so Jason, you got your twenty ninety nine. 
Fear Ultra Spider Man pretty mm-hmm. much under control now. Yeah. Where Where else have you kind of <laughs> found him? Where have you found him hiding? Where, where else have you? Uh, so as him? far as EPAC, I think I other than plates and obviously sketches, um, you know, EPAC, I got that one pretty well locked down. Um, besides Fleur Ultra Spider Man, you know, I've got what's available from Flair. Um, not 2019 Flair, um, which was a power blast. The power uh, blast. No, power blast. A, um, there was a Flarium achievement card. Um, yes, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Like a tier, tier something or whatever. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Yeah. I traded. I was able to get that one. Um, and and then two buybacks um, mm-hmm. from that cool. set. So I got yeah. those. And then for the Marvel annuals. I've got, you know, the um, bay, or I bought the base because the bases are digital on EPAC, but the base of 2016, the gold and the red from 2016 Marvel Annual for him. Um, and then he was a SP, I think he was a SP for 2017 Marvel Annual. So I've got the color wheel and the base for that. Did we lose Ian? No, oh, we okay. did. Yeah, yeah, okay. There and uh, yeah, there. The, and um, yeah, that's the that, I'm trying to think of what else. I think yeah, I think that's it. But then I found um, yeah, and then I, I've got. Let me see what else I've got here. Um, yeah, that's. So while you're looking through that, that was the tier four, right? I knew it was tier. I thought it was like yeah, right. Yeah, it's a pretty. It's tough a great one. card. I have yeah. that card, actually. It's really nice. Yeah, it's a cool card. Um, I mean, pretty much everything I've seen with him. I mean, that's one reason he's a neat character because people seem to take their time with him. I mean, he he's he's mm-hmm. he's got you know both variations of his costume are interesting uh, to me. Um, like so, that's his. That's the green, but that's what his new costume looks like, and yeah. I like I like it. Um, so let's see. Oh, come on now. Oh, okay, so I got this one I got recently uh, from eBay. It's a Marvel medal. Oh, nice. wow. The medal. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, Is there... that actually from the original Marvel metal set? Or was yes. it one of the ones that came out from um, Retro did some throwbacks to uh, Marvel metals, didn't they? Oh. oh yeah they did yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't, i'm not sure if that character's in there but I, i'm not I remember. yeah i'm not see that's another reason i'm in the group i need to learn more about because i'm you know i've got a 20-year gap with these cards so um i do it's remember tough. i had i do have some marvel metal like that was some that i back in the 90s but i believe this is i think there's a couple variations of these but yeah i think that's the original um you know, I just saw it now. I can't. I can't find it. But yeah, I've I've picked up. You know, um, some of his old. You know, older cards. Like I, I've got. You know, the '93 Marvel Masterpiece card. I had. I bought a box of that. Um, yeah, he's two, on the box, isn't he's he? He's on the box. He's featured heavily in the '93 Masterpieces. Mm, um, that's just yeah. The, yeah, just that was Jusco, yeah. piece. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Oh, uh, here's one that. I got I got like nine cards off eBay that had Spider Man twenty ninety nine, and here's one that I have posted to the group and and got you know the information on it, but it's got Hulk twenty ninety nine and Spider Man oh nice and what a cool piece it's from the Marvel seventy fifth um, Marvel seventy fifth oh, yes of course yeah. yes. Probably so. one of my top five favorite sets. I really, looking back, that set is really kind of, I don't know. I love the inserts. I love the comic um, cuts, the comic archive cuts. Like I, that set is kind of, kind of a, a quiet set, but it's great, man. It's oh, God, a little missed piece. it completely. Missed it completely. We yeah, were, did I, you really? We were we were in the middle of moving. We were literally homeless and staying with friends for six months. When wow! All that, when all that dropped, um, because we were kind of relocated. I found so. it late too, but yeah. I, I just love the whole aesthetic. It's very nice. Yeah, I heard that there's a a guaranteed sketch in every box. It's the written house one. So yeah, yeah, it will be. Yeah. There, there's another one. This was this is on EPAC. Uh, this one that I forget about, but it's oh, from, that's nice. It's from the 
Spider-Man Homecoming. Yes. There, there was an insert set called Spider-Man, and there was one one mm. for him. So, so, Good, so you remember um, knowing, we've talked about um, some of the MCU sets. In fact, all of the MCU sets usually have a, an insert set that has elements of the original comic art, and that is the one from uh, Homecoming. It has different wow. um uh, issues throughout the year and the, re- the reason i mentioned this is because i've i've kind of got, i've kind of waded into the mcu pool in a big way um and um brian mark bode our guest on episode 49 has been mentoring me through this process um, <laughs> and jason and i have been helping each other through this process as well as mm-hmm. countless uh individuals because doing it on a budget that's almost non-existent has been has been an eye-opener so right to all the nameless individuals who've been more than generous with trades uh in 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 my favor and helped me out with free digital base to start me off thank you i'm just putting that out there now but um but jason and i were having an interesting um back and forth the other day because Jason, you you don't limit yourself just to Spider Man twenty ninety nine. No. You've been going after. Well, let's start off with your little rainbow on Homecoming because I, 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 I this fascinates me because with these MCU sets, one of the weird things about them is that they have, in some cases, six or seven different coloured parallels that actually don't make any sense whatsoever because they are they are effectively just a different colour border on uh, a movie still wow so you know from the original art set kind of you know even player ultra x-men didn't go quite as far as 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 guardians of the galaxy i think had seven colors it was just ridiculous wow and there's, there's no consistency with it and and, and the whole thing is it's, it's, a, it's just a multiplier because there's only a certain number of cards you have in the set it's just from what i can tell it, it all it is is just working towards an achievement so do you remember when brian was on he said that there was a there was a really high-end achievement in doctor strange it was like a benedict cumberbatch all yes. shadow box yes. and and that mm-hmm. is kind of the result you get of getting uh the doc strange uh, certain color set certain color set i think indigo is the toughest one and there's someone who's two cards away yeah, from pur- pur- purple's the uh purple's the tough one on the um right dr strange yes purple. so um and people are going absolutely crazy for it and the reason they do it is to get a really high-end achievement um and in the case of guardians of the galaxy that achievement is long gone so you know i i've kind of i've kind of parked my wagon having acquired uh, guardians of the galaxy silver base set i'm very happy with that <laughs> thank you very much i'll uh, i'll take that and i'll walk away from the table um but on homecoming you well t- tell us tell us what you've done on homecoming i i mean it's fascinating okay so with homecoming uh just to start it there was a sale on epac and i ended up doing a bogo i had some money in the paypal account so i did a bogo and got two boxes and bought some packs um so i got a good start on that and then somebody was real generous on epac and i was trying to do a you know combine the bases but then they just gave me a silver foil or a silver web set so wow. that kind of took care of my base set um, yeah that's the one i've got <laughs> but the uh so i looked and you know i put together i i put together some of the subsets but decided just to keep the silver web um the spider men insert set and the spider-man decathlon which is another one that features oh, comic book nice. art that's nice that one. so that's cool. uh, that but i i went with um i'm like I'll, I'll do a rainbow um of a of a set and try to get kind of a variations of all the colors available for um for a certain card and the card i picked was card number 21 and here's the base and the base i had to get off of ebay um but the base is oh. a um uh, called the Shockers, uh, the Shock Shocker Gauntlets. <laughs> kind of cool. Yeah, early in the movie, when the the first spoilers, the first Shocker, you know, is fighting Spider Man when they were doing like a a the van of outside the bridge, the van or outside yeah. when he leaves the party and uh, yes. all that. So um, that so I uh, went ahead and I look, and the reason I did that is because I went on COMC because I saw that there were plates and there's not many on EPAC but I found and the plates it's okay but I found a plate 
of wow. that card for uh it was like i think i'm 12 or 14 dollars i so. love plates that show signs of the fat that they've been used yes as plates. yes it's, it's got it's got some yeah got so some that that was the reason so then i went pretty hard on it so <sighs> wow those are now, nice. silver, now that's silver the silver web, web. Silver web, and then when you combine ten base cards, you get the odd Ooh. green, which uh, green and Spider Man do not mix. Well, uh, green goblin, there you go. But yeah, green, green and uh, green web just is odd. But these look so much better than the scans on EPAC uh, for the green. See, and that happens quite a lot too. I feel like, especially with like cards that you can only see through EPAC because they're each EPAC achievements. <laughs> You can't really tell how these effects are looking in person. You know, you know if it's dark, it's a silver. Red. You know, yeah, that's right. Yeah. The red looks red, great. Wow. Red. Yeah, that's um, serial numbered uh, 90, 199. Nice. Wow. And then blue, which is 99. Ooh. Blue's, blue's nice too. Um, so there's a black that's I think serial number to forty nine, mm. and then there is a. I still have I don't know if I can do screen share or not, but I'll, on on EPAC there's a silver foil that you combine ten of the silver webs to make a silver okay. foil, that's right. and then there's a gold foil that is basically 10 of the greens make a gold. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know so how that's they a hundred digital base, basically. No basically. Right. I don't know yeah. how they made the jump of, I, I don't know how they came up with like 10 base, make a green green just seems like an odd color as an yeah. achievement for 10, you know, 10 base, Weird. but, and then green and gold is a little strange too, but, you know, they might have come up with the box concept and then decided to put it on EPAC and then had to, <laughs> you know right. what I mean? What's the next color? <laughs> right. Wow, that's really crazy. That's deep, man. I had no idea they had that kind of level of inserts. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, wow. but I've, no, I've noticed that some of the later uh, MCU stuff, uh, like Spider Man Far From Home, is definitely less on the parallels um yeah. and and like punisher is less on the parallels and agents of shield i think was you know not not really they didn't have the crazy number of parallels for cards like okay some of these other like spider-man homecoming and doctor strange and black panther and some of these other ones you know yeah because <laughs> the interesting wow. thing with a lot by these MCU ones, of course, is that the, in almost all cases, I say almost all, I think um, Infinity War is physical, which is why the price tag is so high. It's $17.99 a pack for Infinity War, and it's still available on EPAC. Um, oh, is it really? Wow. Yeah, 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 well, I wonder when uh, the end People's game's coming out. That's going to be crazy. Really? Yeah, people are already getting twitchy about it. Um, yeah. But yes. the interesting thing I noticed on... Um, my um, train of thought has left station. Sorry, that was my. No, fault, no, that's man. fine. No, so the base cards. So not all of the base cards. Um, I find this quite interesting. Not all of the base cards combine to something that you would want. And a prime example mm -hmm. is the MCU 10th anniversary set. Mm -hmm. So um, the MCU 10th anniversary is one to one hundred is digital, and then one hundred and one to one hundred and fifty is SP, and they're physical. So they are basically exactly the same card effect and stock that you would have on the physical one to 100 that you get in the boxes that you get in the stores mm -hmm. so similar to what they did with marvel annual basically okay. so so mcu 10 if you get just i mean it's five digital base you get a color wheel variant okay just just have a think about that for the moment and and i'm going to share my screen with you again and you can oh. you can gaze in wonder at the and i'm i'm, I'm um, can you see my screen okay mm -hmm. i right. can lovely right so let's let's have a let's have a quick foray because this this will blow your mind now and uh, we are we are leading to what i was going to talk about which is dr strange but um uh, yeah, because this is all this. stuff that I kind of want to start 
you know, getting to understand a little bit and better. And it's all kind of stuff that I've only just kind of recently learned. So, um, wow. so MCU 10, MCU 10, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Brian's going to love this episode. We wanted to talk about MCU and we are doing so. Um, so you have to change the course of history, my friend. So let's look at card number one. Okay. So this is a digital base. I'll get it on my screen, and this will be on the tasting notes for those Ooh, of you who are not with us. Okay, looks nice, doesn't it? And if you bought Very nice. a physical box of Marvel Cinematic Universe tenth anniversary, that is the physical card you would get. But of course, on EPAC, that is digital. Okay. Oh, let me clever. show you. Let me show you. So that's why I'm saying that's what they did with Marvel Annual. You see, Marvel oh. Annual, you can only get the base set in mm-hmm. physical boxes. You can't get it on thing. So let me, and then the SP, of course, you can get from both. Um, um, where my computer catches up with me, let me show you what that card looks like when you combine five of the digital. Oh. Mm. Isn't that disgusting? I'm so sorry, Upper Deck, but that. <laughs> I just think it's good. Yeah, that looks really bad. It doesn't work at all. It's kind it of really bland. Yeah. So Even for the so rainbow, it's, it's bland. Not, yeah. Yeah. So I've what I've well because that I've, effect that should be effect on the picture, the clouds. Yeah. That rainbow there, it, it looks really rough. I mean, yeah, card one was the one that actually nailed it for me when I saw that. I was like, no. Um, so I basically traded away most of my MCU 10 base as a result. And it's um, like that on all of them? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's look at some of the <sighs> other ones. Um, so let's look, at, um, let's look at Black Widow in action on – so it's card number 16. Oh, God. On a color wheel background. It just, just – just, I, I, yeah, I, I don't like it. I, I won't like you. I don't like it. Um, so, wow. so basically, so from so homecoming combines to a green. I very quickly learnt that, so I've gone for the silver web set. So that's fine. Okay. I've I dodged that bullet. Um, Ant Man and Wasp combines to a honeycomb. So it does a similar thing, but you yeah. get a weird honeycomb behind them. So I'm not doing that base set for repacks. I'm not doing that one. Um, and Thor Ragnarok does something where they go red, I believe. I think it's a red that you combine to when you get the digital base. Not sure. Anyway, it just look weird on the scans. So those I'm going to track down as physical. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the ones I've gone for, um, the others I've gone for, Guardians of the Galaxy and Black Panther, both combined to a very satisfying silver parallel. <laughs> You see? see, that makes sense to me. You know, they used to do a variation of this with the difference between a hobby box and a um, archive box, right, Ian? Yep. Where they uh, had like hobby a retail, retail. Yeah, hobby, hobby and retail, yeah, that's it. where they used to have this idea where you would get like a red foil insert in a retail or hobby box, right? Whatever the variation was. I think there was something like that for uh, Marvel 75th to bring it back full circle. Um oh. Okay. you know that worked out because there was a foil effect to it like if you're going to bring yeah. it to evac give it the foil effect i mean yeah i, I like the red the red for the thor it doesn't yeah, look I like, terrible i like the the red thor well no mm, i see i don't know i mean that that's the base yeah okay yeah. okay so you can see that's that heavy uh, on the lightning. that's fine <laughs> the lightning around the outside but it's it's the background so we're looking at card number four mm-hmm. thor yeah. four okay um and you can yeah. see that yeah there's a, there's a shot of Chris Hemsworth and um, yeah, that's shot. outside. The, um, uh, that's outside the hospice that got destroyed yeah. with Odin, right? Okay, so they stood outside, looking good. All right, <laughs> this, is, this is the red one, and and look, I mean, maybe that's oh. foil, which is why it's come out so dark. It just doesn't. Yeah. It might be Can't foil. It. it looks blood red on the skin, yeah. but it might be foil. Can't do it. Can't do it. So I find that really strange. So um, which is a massive segue, Doctor Strange, Jason. Oh gosh! Tell us yeah. about Doctor because Doctor Strange is an interesting one. It, it, relatively it is. Speaking, it it's is quite an early one, I think. And maybe this podcast because I've I've got another I've got a um a mystery that uh, at the end of this because I found something and I don't know the answer to it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, Doctor Strange. I started with I originally just did a base set of because uh, it was the free pack on epac so i did you know did my 20 uh base and got a um silver foil mm. 
And then for whatever reason, I decided to do a rainbow because I saw how many different parallels there are of Doctor Strange. So yeah. Um, so I will go through these, and I have them in sleeves, so you know who knows how they're going to look. But um, yeah, so you've got your silver. I mean, oh, yeah, so the that's silver. the one. So the on silver, that video, yeah, and so I went after card fifty, um, yeah. card number fifty. Uh, it's a good card to go after, man. That's it, a good, that's and, a good one. And the title, I went after it because of the title of the card. Um, it's called Sorcerer Supreme. So, so, so just a quick, just a quick um, pause there. So, you know, when we did that video that's on our YouTube channel, folks, go and have a look at it, where I combined yes. a, a thousand of those digital base cards, 20 for each card times 50 cards, and got a silver parallel set. That's that. Oh so wow, they that. look great in person, yeah. man. Yeah, they yeah. do. They they look really great. That's why I you know, even with like the the rainbow or the color wheel for MCU and the Thor, um I've learned that sometimes when you get these cards back they look amazing. So I don't I don't always trust the EPAC scan. The, the scan. scan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um because there's some that I've been amazed by. Yeah, I, I, like I know enough from that color wheel MCU ten that I don't want Iron Man in front of in front of a trippy '90s acid house rainbow. But let's just well, unless yeah. there's some kind of scan to it, like some kind of like um, like effect on the rainbow where you can see the cloud, like right. where you can actually see the background of the character. Having just that graphic there, I don't know how well that looks in person but you're absolutely right anyway, jason right, yeah. well, so many of them you get in person and it's like just amazing the effect right. i mean they are wonderful quality all of them so you know, oh so, yeah they're so and cool. I, i've noticed with um i mean i like to i have a base set of marvel annual 2018 19 uh color wheel and those look great oh um, lovely yeah, but right. i came across some of the physical base cards and I like the. I mean, those look really good um, yeah. too in, in hand. So, and then I've got the as my camera is the worst, but this is the rainbow uh, foil oh. of the base, um, and it looks really good. And I'm seeing the rainbow effect here when I hold up on the camera. I don't, um, but those are. I believe so. Twenty base makes a silver, and then ten silver make a rainbow. I believe because wow. I think I think you're still looking at a hundred base for uh, anyway. Um, make two hundred base for a rainbow then. Oh, two hundred base for a twenty. Rainbow, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need twenty for. Yeah, that's right. Wow. My map. Yeah. So, and then going through the parallels real quick, you've got your red which i believe is one in oh cool two pack or it's it's kind of one of the common inserts it's pretty in common pack. yeah yeah pretty common oh. but when i was going through this i discovered that 10 reds make a rainbow red oh wow Ooh. these are <laughs> that looks awesome those, folks <laughs> red rainbow and then you go through your inserts um for your parallels and you've got and i don't know if i have them in the right order of the ratio but you have a a yellow oh. a orange so are these the colors of the infinity gems uh, you know it's highly possibly it's well yeah it's possible I don't know. Are they just? They just one day decided we like all the colors. Let's Start board with the colors of the rainbow. Yeah, <laughs> green. Yeah, because there's green for the time uh, mm -hmm. gem. Yeah, I like the effect. You know, I like the whole. That's like the web effect on uh, Spider-Man Ultra. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it has yeah, that same yeah. quality. And then blue. So yeah, blue. there's space. Now is where. I'm going to throw you off on your um, so no no. goes off the bridge. No. <laughs> you so can't. here's don't do it. Here's the indigo. So is that purple? Oh, it's well, it's indigo and indigo, and it's one indigo. in I think se one in seventy two packs. Um, oh, get an indigo. Yeah, there's one more on e pack. There's one in 
400. I don't know. It's it's an insane ratio, but it's purple. Mm. Purple. And so wow. And, wow. And, wow. and people are after these indigos because if you get a full set of indigos, you get um, – Ian mentioned it earlier. You get like a cool shadow box auto of Benedict Cumberbatch um, if you do a full set of indigo. So, so not the purple, but the indigo. The wow. indigo, now, yeah. It just so happens that Doctor Strange has been on buy one, get one free sale over mm-hmm. the last week, a uh, few days. Um, and they're three ninety nine a pack. I only get five cards, and most of them are digital, but still, you know, it's worth a shot. So right. should we open some? <laughs> yeah. Oh, should we open I love some? the segue. So should we open some? Yeah. I, I've, I've got three more Doctor Strange. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Jason. Sorry, I, 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 oh, I got excited yeah. there. Let, let's finish with, with, with seeing what's here. So when I was doing searches, because I knew – so this um, set on EPAC, they say EPAC exclusive. So – I did some searching to try to find the base because the base is digital and I couldn't find a base that was identical, but I came across that base. Ooh. And you see how thick that is. Yeah. And it's, um, you probably can't see it. Serial numbered to 150, but it's different, different border, different, you know, thickness. And this was from a hobby pack that was super um, premium. And fortunately, thanks to eBay, I found the silver light effects, Whoa. which is a uh, serial number to 50. And couldn't believe um, the gold light effects. Whoa. Which is serial number twenty five. So those were the parallels out of the hobby or retail or hobby box um, for Doctor Strange. Um, and the closest I've come to to finding a base that's identical to what the EPAC base was was I bought some of these Walmart mystery boxes. Oh yes, and. In uh, two of the boxes, I got some packs of this that is from 2017, and it's a Marvel Cinematic Universe set that I think was only exclusive to Walmart. Ah, uh, okay. And I can't find a checklist, or I can find the packs for sale, but I can't find what was in there. But basically, it's a hodgepodge of the different movie base cards. Like, there's Age wow. of Ultron. And in there, um, in there, they have Doctor Strange, and the cards look just like the base on EPAC. Interesting. Mm. I don't know if the card I'm after was included in this set or not. And they also had parallels that had a red foil marble stamp. Oh, that's so, nice. So that's why if anybody listened that knows anything about that, if I would love to track that card down if it was available in that set because it would fit perfectly. Um, and the numbering, the numbering may be off. I don't know if they numbered them um, for the set or if they just numbered them um, per movie card or how the, the numbering may be. It may not be card 50. It may be another card, but another number but that's the mystery that like i came across that so i don't there may be some more some more out there to chase that is fascinating that there's an mcu set that we know nothing about yeah somebody made it was a walmart exclusive 2017 did you say i'm I'm pretty sure it's 2017 that was the pack and then on the back you got the guardians but it's got um just real quick i mean it's got dr strange age of ultron Thor, uh, Thor the Dark World, The Winter Soldier, Iron Man 2, um, huh. Iron, Iron Man 2. And there's no way that could have just been for the mystery box, right? No, they, they I think they sold I think they sold these packs at Walmart. You can find yeah. them on eBay, I, the packs. Yeah. I think, oh. I but think I'm not buying a bunch of packs in hopes of 
Yeah, I think what <laughs> this is, well, I, well, I, I will. Um, so basically, what I think has happened here, uh, I don't know for sure, but you remember when we did that, and we, uh, we haven't actually put this episode up yet, but there's a Walmart mystery box <laughs> episode yes. coming. Yes, um, yes, yes. Which will be on our YouTube. It's a video episode. Um, mm. And this is, a, is an empty pack of Marvel Annual 2018-19. This is the one that you get in the regular boxes. So five cards a pack. That's the interesting thing. Mm-hmm. This is the pack that you get in the Walmart mystery boxes. Different characters on it. It's four cards. Yeah, pack. that's what I got in my mystery yeah. box. The so annual, so yeah. that, there is clearly a retail, and it could well be Walmart exclusive, version of Marvel Annual. So I think that the company that do the Walmart mystery boxes, the, um, the Marvel mystery boxes, I think that's less to do with Upper Deck than we think. I think it's probably more to do with Walmart having a load of stock yeah. and getting the blessing of but, Upper Deck to have someone put together these mystery boxes. Yes, because... I'm yeah, because the they have um the other cards that there's an abundance of in these boxes is Captain America Civil War. Yeah. And I've done search and it's hard to keep track of what's what, but those cards in that from that Walmart pack are sort of a little bit slightly different than I think the regular set of Civil War. I'm not really sure, uh-huh. um, but there's with that Walmart set. There's some opportunities for some good, um, you know, rainbow sets. Um, not as many as Doctor Strange, but you know, pick your character, the Falcon or whoever. They've got some, you know, cards that are good hero yeah. shots of the characters in different red, blue, and there's some foily stuff wow. too. So yeah. So character collecting in terms of MCU stuff, I just think it's fascinating. I do too. Uh, you know, it's an interesting thing that we've not really gone into. Uh, yeah. Let's open these. Uh, so I bought because uh, it's three dollars ninety nine, and I've just sold some stuff on eBay, so I could afford that. So, um, so I bought one pack of Doctor Strange, and I got two. Yes, Ooh. I love a bog off. A bog off. Bog off. Buy one get one free. Right. So I let's... love the packs of this set too, man. Like they did a good design with this set. I like it. Nice. I, yeah, the packs nice. are cool. I want to watch. They are really again. cool. I want, I want to watch the film again. That's what it's made me want me to too. do. You know? yeah, that's yes. probably my top five of MCU movies. It's a good right. one, man. It's oh, a really yeah. good one. Cool. Right, let's go. So that's a digital base. Yep. Uh, now that, oh, now this cool. is interesting. Cards 51 to 60. Mm-hmm. You... Um, it also need 20 to combine, but because they're not in the daily free pack, they're much more sought after. Yes. And they're character mm. poses, and then the last one is the, is the poster. Mm-hmm. So the character poses and poster um, digital base trade higher yeah. than the regular digital oh. base, which is in the daily free packs, which is why that's kind of devalued a bit, because it's given away free every day. So, <laughs> so that's one of the Mads Michelson character whose name escapes me. Um, the bad guy. I see Caecilius. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Bless you, sir. Um, Sanctum Star. So that's a physical insert. Uh, no, I'll tell four. you about those. Yeah. Yeah. It's In a second. You're, yeah. You're about to say no, it's not as right. Um, sorry. Bad joke time. Um, I love those. We're, co- we're going to come on to the chase set for Doctor Strange in a moment. Uh, there's the, your boy again, Ty, Ty, Typhelius. Is that? Caecilius. Caecilius. There we Kaecilius. go. We'll get it right. And there he is again. Yeah. So it's a very heavy. We've got three out of five cards in this pack. Is um, can I see it? So what I I'm going to do? I'm going to quickly get yeah him, Mad. I'm just going to quickly screen cap that so I can save it for our tasting notes, and then we're going to open the second one because I like to be organised with this yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I opened up some packs last night. And I got th- in one pack three cards in a row that were all of uh, Baron M- Mordo. Oh, okay. Um, oh, really? Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so pack two. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do, 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 do. Ah, oh, cheery. There he is. Mm-hmm. Of four. That's funny. Uh, Benny in bed. Benny in bed. Oh, 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 oh red oh, flasher. Triple, triple memorabilia crap. costume cards. Yes. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Wow. Oh. Was three three dollars ninety nine well spent. Well, yes. I'll look at that in a moment. Uh, that, see, this is interesting. When you get one of those hits, you get one fewer digital. You still get the other physical card. Yeah. In the pack, because uh, that's behind the lens is a physical card. 
That's one of the physical inserts. Oh, my stars and garters. Right. Very that, great. That is a good, wow. Yeah. What am I good, con- good, good content. Yeah. Yeah, good content. This is big. We might have to put this out as a. Um, as yeah, a we can do this mini video. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly uh, what I was thinking, too. There we go. So that's done that. Let's have a closer look at that puppy. Wow. And that's where is it? Here it is. So you see there the movie posters is the pack exclusive as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, Sanctum oh. Stars, that's physical, which is this tick here. And then, yeah, this this triple, which I will take off my wish list and lock that's it. That's insane. The Shanty's Vestments. Shanty's Vestments. That's nice. So you've got Baron Mordo. Yep. You've got a bit of Tilda Swinton's uh, clobber, and you've got Kai Silius. That's mm-hmm. Michelson. It's interesting that they've, they've kind of done them in the shape of letters as well. Yeah. Doc. Doc. For Doc. like doctors, you know. For Doctor Strange, it looks that's great. Lo- lovely. I can't wait to get one of those in hand. Yeah. And that's that's a good card because you got three pretty big um, yeah. star. I, or I yeah. I consider them big. You know, I'm very 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 happy with this turn of events. That's just that's just. Well, they're that super one. like uh, prevalent to the to the plot of the the movie. Yeah, no, they're big yes. big characters. Yeah, one hundred percent. Well, this is brilliant. Wow. I mean, we don't, you know, we've done a few of these packs on the podcast over the. Um, over the uh, that's that's outstanding. Well, thank you, uh, everybody. Um, awesome. I, I kind yeah. of. Um, sorry, Jason. I, I'm going to have to stop talking because I'm slightly gobsmacked. What were you about to say about the? Um, <laughs> oh, so I noticed. I knew it with the uh, Sanctum Stars, but I was looking at the uh, achievements on Doctor Strange and. <laughs> It, it kind of deters me from trying to go after because I decided to go after the inserts. Yeah. But I, I think I'm going to focus on those movie character or movie poster because those Do are that. those are pretty sweet. Do that. Cards. Do you want that one? Um, Do you want that one? I just pulled. Yeah. 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 Let me just lock it quickly because um, literally as soon as they pop up, I get trade requests from them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I had to lock mine too because I was yeah. getting. I'll send that over to you once we're done. Bunch of vultures, I tell you. Um, so. What, but the Sanctum what? Stars, yeah, and I know, and you, you and I were talking about it. I didn't realize it was with like I think was it behind the lens, behind the lens, and I'm mightily annoyed about it. And it's actually, I think, with almost all of the insert sets, and it, to get the achievement, it's not a redeem where you redeem, it shows redeem, and you get your achievement card. It's a combine, so yeah. all those cards once you get them disappear and you get an achievement card yeah but they're physical cards so it's they're actually cards. really annoying it, you know it's, it's like yeah yeah with, with this with the spider-man one you know you're getting something really really special mm-hmm. so it's worth losing a hundred of those physical cards over but on this you've actually gone and you've chased a whole set so it's interesting that they've changed it because no other set does this so the achievement cards pretty much everywhere you go um are literally that they're a, they're a kind of a, a well done a congratulations because you've just managed to um, um, you've just managed to complete the set <laughs> if you like but in this case in Doctor Strange when you complete that set it gets taken away from you by claiming the achievement card and the achievement card isn't all that so uh, right. I'll, sh- I'll show you what I mean so when I redeemed my behind the lens set the behind the lens set is, n- is not small I mean it's 20-25 cards um, and I got them all through trade so Strange Moments is there that's the comic yeah behind that's the lens. another one yeah. that disappears too Strange yeah. Moments yeah so Strange Moment is the comics uh, yes. covers uh, that I know Norrin we've well, I've shown you those yes before. Yeah, they're they're, and they're nice. They're really, they're cool. I they're really, really nice. love that they do that. Yeah, but if you get a set of fifteen of those and click for the achievement, you lose the fifteen. It's just a bit. It's just really annoying. So I went and I claimed the achievement for where is it? Here we go. For behind the lens. So I got I got this, which is you know just another card in that series. They've just they've just kept it back for the achievement, but you lose all the other ones. And I was just are the bit, other ones digital or they're physical? No, they're, they're physical. all physical. That's the annoying thing. So I actually Absolutely. messaged. I messaged up a deck. I said, you know, surely this isn't you know right. And they they confirmed. Yeah, that's what happened. And they showed me the thing that you click on when you when you combine. They showed me a screenshot of that, which is which is fine. But from my point of view, that's like when you you know when you um, you get an iPhone 
and you get served up the thing that says, do you agree to use you know, all this? You're never going to read through all that. And that is pages and pages and pages. You just click accept because you want to get to where you're going. Um, and, and honestly, because no other set does that, I didn't think I was going to lose the cards I'd done. So anyway, any of the remaining achievements for Doctor Strange, I'm going to buy off Comsey for a dollar. I'm not going to lose the 15, yeah. 20 cup chase set that I no, got. that's weird. Because then technically you're paying, you're paying the, the theoretical price it took you to get to that full set for that one card. That's the achievement, yeah. right? And not even keeping the, the actual set. So you're, taking, you're basically trading all that for that one card. That's, that is a little odd. Yeah. See, and that's yeah. the problem I have with EPAC sometimes, and and I like a lot of EPAC, I really do, but the the hard thing is, and I think this is where a lot of people have a hard time understanding what EPAC is, is that there's not the transparency doesn't feel like it's pretty um, pretty there, right? It doesn't feel like you can really know what's physical and what's digital, or like it's kind of nerve wracking because sets do it differently, right? You've got to have your wits about it. I yeah. have a feeling that this this was one of the first MCU sets that they put onto EPAC. I think that this one was one where they were trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. And I think since then they have set the president. I mean, the president, I've been told, is redeem, is mm -hmm. you keep the cards, but you get the achievement. Combine is you lose the cards and you get something else. So mm -hmm. that is generally the rule of thumb. This is just one of the rare examples of where that doesn't happen. Um, okay. It's still mightily annoying, though. Um, it, it, yeah, but, but it's, it's just kind of dis it's disappointing. And, it is. Yeah. It is. But... Okay. You never, you never know. Ha, have you seen? So I was looking at Doctor Strange. Um, they've got a subset that I think are fairly uh, uh, kind of a rare ratio, and I haven't seen a lot of them. Um, the astral projections. Have you seen yeah. those? No. They're. I I've think they're like either. the. Are they like the X Century from Flitter Ultra Spider Man? Possibly. Mm. It's just so they have that transparency kind of thing. Yeah, they're they're yeah. really cool. And they're, they're comic know. book, uh, comic art. What, um, what I find interesting is with the, with the Doctor Strange physical set is when you go onto ComC, it actually gives you quite a lot of options when you start typing in Doctor Strange because mm -hmm. obviously they're carrying some of the physical stuff that people have sent into them to be, to right. be um, mm -hmm. sold as well as all the stuff that yeah. people moved over from EPAC. Yeah, um, that's, how I, that's how I found that, yeah. uh, that hobby set. And the hobby set stuff goes for quite a bit. Yeah. Astral projections. Here we go. There's only 850 of them in the trading marketplace. So straight away, that's a tough one. Wow, there's quite a lot of them. There's 28 in the set. Mm -hmm. um, I This one had kind of passed me by a little bit. This is going to be the tough. Yeah, they're going to be tough. They're beautiful. They are. They're nice. Oh, I've seen these. They're nice. It is. Yeah. It's kind of like X cuts and, you know, yeah, it's kind of like those. The X century. X yeah. They're, yeah, also beautiful. the amber too in a way yeah. right yeah so it's an acetate card basically with comic art acetate. on it yeah they're uh, nice. so let's have a look at one right so straight away i didn't realize there's a scarlet witch one here so matt demars will be happy he's probably already got it look at that uh, that's that stunning cool. so it's comic art representation of the character against the sort of semicircular window kind of um yeah thing. they're they're really nice um and they've got all kinds of characters characters that these. you know morgan le fay victor strange nightmare mm, nightmare night night nurse night nurse is a cough medicine in this country <laughs> is it really yeah it's a night nurse is a there's an um i won't yep. sing the advert but yeah look at her she looks that's pretty cool she's a nurse she looks saucy but she's probably dangerous who knows yeah well um, is it isn't a um as far as the oh. netflix shows go isn't um rosario dawson wasn't tip wasn't really she supposed to be night nurse? I oh, I don't know. I don't know the character well enough to know that. Um, I know she's called Claire in the um, yeah uh, in the, in those shows, but I don't. Nah. I don't know. Uh, it, I'm, I'm wagging my tail because Hellstorm's in that set. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I That's like a good that one of ten. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to thank thank you for reminding me about these. I'm going to track them down. Mm -hmm. um, although that's going to be a tough job. Look how few there are. Yeah. And I, I haven't seen them on uh, Com C either. I tried to search for them and I didn't see yeah. any pop up. And everyone's yeah. got kind of just one of them. No one's holding multiples. Yeah, Dorm Dormammu. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's that's really interesting. That is. I'll um I'll keep my eyes open for those. Um, Jason. Yes. Would you like to choose 
this week's, and I'm just going to stop sharing screen because I don't think I shared my sound, and I would like to share my sound because I'd like you to hear this. I've no idea who's going to be our intro artist for this episode. No okay. care. So sh- do you want to choose? I've got three audio files on my screen. Can you see that? Uh, yes. I've got number one. I've got number two. I've got number three. Okay. This is either going to work wonderfully well or it's going to go hideously wrong. So we'll edit it out. If it goes hideously wrong, we never do. <laughs> one, two, or three, sir. Oh, man. Uh, let's do Let's do number two. Oh, man, number two. God, no, I have no idea what's behind the door. I two. think I know who's number two, and I'm really oh. excited. I'm, I'm excited about all of these artists, but this one, I think if it's the one I'm thinking of. Let's play this. Hey everybody, this is Jason Sobel, artist on oh. way too many Marvel card sets to announce, <laughs> and you are listening to the Marvel Card Collectors podcast. So awesome. our listeners at this and, point will know who that was because obviously. And they so have that's it at the that's that's awesome because I actually I haven't seen him in a few years, but I'm actually uh, friends with uh, with Jason. Um, he's oh, wow. I, met, I met him in 2015 at Tampa Bay Comic Con. He drew a beast in blue color pencil in my sketchbook. I've got a couple sketch covers from him. Um, he lives in my state um, in Florida. Uh, yeah. Super, super nice guy. And I know he's done a lot of sketch uh, cards. Um, wow. And, and I know he does a lot of Marvel. He does some other stuff like Star Wars. and He's done an awful lot of stuff. Yeah. This is why he says in his intro, you know, way too many Marvel yeah, sets. Yeah, super, super nice, uh, super nice guy. So I'm, uh, that that's pretty uh, lucky that I picked that one. Uh, that, I do, that, I do that know him. Awesome. I haven't talked to him in a while, but uh, yeah. Good guy. He's a lovely bloke. So um, I'm so I'm just looking at my notes here at the moment. He sent me he sent me a great photo to use as well, which people will have already seen because it's on the on the show notes. Um, so he's um, he's at Jason Sobel um, S O B O L on Instagram, or you can go to Jason Sobel Art dot com to find him. Uh, the links will be in the show notes. Let's just have a little walk through his Instagram feed because there's some bonkers mm-hmm. stuff on here. Um, I, I love just it. saw. Here we go. Right. Who's who's look at that. Oh, wow. Nice bit of Phoenix um, ink and acrylic paint. It's just wonderful. He's I've got sketch cards by him and he's he was on the Rittenhouse sets. Um, I'm pretty sure he's still current on, on the on the modern sets. Um, not saying modern sets, you know, still modern. Look at that Venom painted cover as well. Um, Venom we get, Iron Man War Machine. Yeah, That's just cool. Wonderful. Let, me, let me quickly. Oh, he hasn't got his website linked at the top of his Instagram feed. Um, but um, I love that John Wick. That's no, cool. Mm-hmm. I like his sketch cards too. They're oh, really fun. Nice. They are absolutely superb. He's done some Mandalorian. Yeah, Mandalorian. Everyone's doing Mandalorian. Here we go. Look at this. Marvel Studios That's in the nice. last 10 years. That's Look a good at one. That wasp. That's brilliant. That's, that's I think that's an AP. That's an AP. There we go. Um, wow. Yeah, Jason's work is always yeah. absolutely solid, spot on. Um, I really, really like it. And he's got loads of comic covers he's doing on his Instagram feed here. Yeah, and he does a progress. lot of sketch covers. I used to yeah. be into the sketch, getting the sketch covers done. And he's, yeah, I've got a right. spider Gwen that he oh, did nice. and a, I believe, a Jane Foster Thor cover nice yeah, yeah. and nice. then a beast he did a beast and then i have a bb8 um that he had just like a on a paper that uh, just a kind of a simple bb8 from star wars um and then i've got That's that cool. too from him so i imagine bb8 is probably quite a popular one with artists um, because it's um, circles, but maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's actually I, really tricky to I, draw. I don't know. It, it's yeah. I don't I don't know. It, it may be tricky. He I, he's probably a fun character just because he's kind of the way he's shaped. And, and I he's yeah. one of the he's one of the characters I I, I like um, the way they did him in the movies too. I think he's a mm. fun little. He's kind of a def, definitely different than personality wise than C three PO and. Um, yeah. R2-D2, you yeah. know, yeah. like a child, but he's got a kind of a violent disposition occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> like, you um, know, um, the way he, like, uh, took out all the guys in the um, 
the last Jedi with the coins. And then when he gets into one of the walkers to rescue Finn and Rose and stuff. Yes. So he's kind of, he's kind of a cool little guy, but they did a great job job with his character design, especially since, like you said, he is different than C3PO and R2D2. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he he absolutely. definitely fits that trio really well. Yeah, I'm, I love that. I'm desperately looking. I'm sure I've got a card by him, but for the life of me, I can't find it in my binder, uh, which it probably speaks more about the, the, the state of my um, uh, yeah. binder than it does of anything else, but Those, I just uh, can't find it for the life of those me. pinheads you got up on your screen that he did uh, he looks like he's going through the process of drawing he does. Pin, yeah pinhead. yeah it's yeah pretty neat. it does so yeah. i can't find uh, my i know i have a jason sobel sketch card of black cat but i just don't know where it is so um if i find it it will be on the tasting notes if i don't someone's broken into my house and stolen it um mm. so uh, who knows who knows <laughs> um so uh, jason jason thank you for doing that um I'll um, okay. I'll give Jason a heads up. Oh, look at that Beetlejuice cover he's done. That's uh, nice. It's a cover or commission? No, it's a commission. Look at that. You can see the progression there on that. I love it. That's What's really that like one? Part. Go back to Beetlejuice. Um, Beetle. That card that's right there above it, or that picture. I don't know who that is. That that's is. Um, yeah, there's Beetlejuice, but there's another but you, character that's Edward Scissorhands. No, the one that's below. It's below Batman. Yes. Oh, this one. Oh, from yeah. Transformers? Yeah, that's Transformers. Is oh, that that's Transformers. Acid Bat. Acid Bat. Oh. Acid. Okay. Transformers have come a long way since my day. When I when I first yes. started with Transformers, I was I was Generation 1, and that was it. And it yeah. was literally uh, Jazz, Optimus Prime, Soundwave, Megatron, uh, Bumblebee, and a few others, and that was it. And it, it very quickly got out of hand. Um, so I kind of left it where it, left it yeah. where it was. You know yeah. what? I've probably got one of his cards here, but I just simply don't recognise his autograph. So I'm going to stop looking because it's really uh, off-putting. Um, uh, Jason Sobel, <laughs> thank you. Uh, Jason Markinay, yes. thank you. Oh, this thank been, you. This has been an absolute hoot. Thanks for coming it's, on. It's been amazing. It's, it's been fun. I'm sorry I went on the the rants with, or not rants, but rambles about Star Wars, you know, BB-8 and some other stuff because I know this is all all about Marvel cards. Hey, but... uh, we, we often go on segways. Um, well, yeah, yeah it's we, always um, Ian's fault too, but you know, whatever. Well, I try and take us on segways, but for the fact that you're still <laughs> really, really, really far behind on Star Trek, so we can't talk about it, oh, and it's one God. of the few things I'm up to date on. So, uh, have you watched Picard yet? Are you are you there yet? Sorry, you broke up, Ian. What did I you said, say? I said, are you there? <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. Sorry. I'm no, not. I am so not. not there, are you? I'm not okay. there anymore. All right. No. All right. I will be, though. We'll not, when, we'll not talk about it. Everything has just fallen off my desk. It's all going <laughs> wrong here. Jason, do you remember how we end our show? Uh, no, I don't. No. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> You're making it difficult for me, both of you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Norin, how do we end our show? G sure. Okay, so it is enjoy collecting. Are you ready with me, Jason? I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. Enjoy, enjoy collecting. Enjoy collecting. Everybody. Hey. Hey. So close. That was tight. That was tight. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh, God. Thanks for listening to the Marvel Card Collectors Podcast. Visuals and tasting notes for each episode can be found on our Facebook page. You can subscribe and leave us a voicemail via our home on anchor.fm forward slash mccp. We're also on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms. Please take a second to subscribe, like, and review our show wherever you get your podcasts. Our podcast can be found by Googling at the MCC pod, which will also find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Our Facebook community is at MCCW, Marvel Card Collectors Worldwide, and MMC, Marvel Masterpieces Collectors. The great music we use is called Rocket Power by Kevin McLeod. Thanks to the collectors, artists, and creators who support the Marvel Cards Fan Collective. We'll see you next time. And remember, it's a small hobby, but a fun one. Make mine marvel and enjoy collecting. Collecting.